So quantum physics says that particles are free of the limits of time. They can move backwards and forwards in history. And in this way, we are quantumly entangled with our past and future selves. And with this awareness, I wanted to take a moment to connect with my past self. However, this video isn't just for me. When I first started waking up spiritually, which was about 10 years ago, I didn't have much in the way of mentorship. There was no spirit science for me to watch, no online communities that I found myself connecting with. And because of that, I had to do it the hard way. Trial by stone. Trial by stone! Trial by stone! Wait, sorry, no, trial and error. There were a lot of mistakes that I made and a lot of things I wish I had known about human life and how it all works ahead of time. So today, I wanted to make this special video not just that will become quantumly entangled with a multiverse edition of my past self and hopefully help him out, but one that today might offer some advice for people of all ages who are on their spiritual journey, especially for those who find themselves feeling the same way that I did all of those years ago. Dear Self, I want to speak to you about the nature of time. Time is very interesting because when you are young, you haven't experienced very much of it. And so you feel like you have a great deal of it before you. So much so that a single day can seem like a very long amount of time. You can do so much in a single day. What I have found is that the more days, weeks, months, and years that move through you, this frame of reference changes. Soon a day feels much shorter as your time is occupied in different ways. Enjoy your youth and the few responsibilities you do have because the older you get, the more and more you become responsible for, as you become a creator of greater and greater things in your life from various jobs, relationships, and family. Be aware that in this human life, we are living within a field of illusions. Though this is not necessarily a bad thing, but something you must learn to perceive. You must be aware that all of the rules of society, the social structures, technology, buildings, everything, was all created by people no different than yourself. And just as they created rules, innovations, and other systems for people to live by, so too can you create rules, innovations, systems, and technologies that shape the world. However, just as rules and systems are important, you must not lose sight of your emotional body. In this world, it is easy to lose sight of the depth of feeling within you, as much of the social systems and people therein are accustomed to burying their feelings, and they may even encourage you to do the same, in favor of just putting on a smile and pretending that everything is always perfect, all the time. It's okay if things aren't perfect, they're not supposed to be. Life is a place for your exploration of all states of being, both pain and pleasure. Now regarding pain, be mindful that the vast majority of humanity struggles with the disconnection with their soul. And this is a part of the great lesson humanity is learning. It is the source of our human sickness. You too will struggle with this as well. And I encourage you to adopt a regular meditation practice even just 15 minutes a day or more can support you in living life at a much higher level than you ever knew was possible. I only wish I had a meditation practice when I was a kid in this dimensional time stream. I know now that it really would have helped me with my own anxiety, self-consciousness, confidence, dealing with bullies and difficult challenges, and even tackling homework and all kinds of stuff like that. A clear mind is one of the most valuable things we can utilize, and it often becomes clouded by so many different things pouring through it on a daily basis, as well as less than optimal food and whatnot. If you take just a bit of time to clear your mind with meditation regularly, you will see massive improvements in so many areas of your life. What's more, a regular practice like this will aid you in learning to recognize when people are being sincere or are genuinely inauthentic, or any line of blending in between. If you can identify the difference within yourself, you can surround yourself with a quality community rather than those who would seek to take advantage of you and potentially corrupt your own energy further. Finally, on the subject of meditation, 
When you are growing up, as I did in this time stream, you may naturally begin experimenting with plant medicine, such as cannabis, magic mushrooms, and ayahuasca. Be warned, these are tools for the expansion of your consciousness and energetic field, but they can be directed in all manner of ways. Use them for meditation with purposeful and sacred intention, and they will support you in this. If you use them to party, to escape or to avoid unwanted emotions and pains, they will not serve you nearly as well and can lead to even greater negative experiences. Now, please know that you can live life however you choose. And if you put yourself in the position of the main character of your life story, the hero of the video game or movie of your life, then you can live a life where on a daily basis, you experience life as an adventure not just a continuum of mundane activities over and over. Your choices ultimately dictate the legacy that you lead. So think big about what you want your future to look like, and then begin moving towards it with confidence and grace. I must acknowledge that school can be very tricky because the essential skills that they teach you are not often the ones you will actually use in your life. And yet, it's a part of the existing systems that insist you must go through it with the promise that you'll have a successful future once you're complete. You must know that this promise is only true if you actively see it through. Otherwise, if you just take their word for it, but don't take the steps to live your own dreams, you will only end up with debt. Truly, many legendary people, take Steve Jobs for example, dropped out of college and focused on their passions. In the case of Steve, he focused on founding Apple and became a legend in this world. However, I'm not suggesting you drop out of school because your later lessons from college ultimately proved to be very valuable to you. But ultimately, you have to be the one to make your own decisions in your life. And if you do decide to cut away from your existing reality and pave a new trail for yourself, don't be afraid to follow those dreams. Do so with tenacity and make sure that you truly see yourself go the distance. In my humble perspective, school is not going to teach you a lot of valuable life skills that you really ought to have. So I encourage you to invest in your own education along your life journey. Read books or watch videos designed to educate you about life, love, the changes your body goes through, relationships, and more. Don't be afraid to experiment with yourself, discovering what you like and what you don't like. And don't be afraid to ask yourself hard questions about who you are. Feel into your sexuality and learn what it means to be intimate, both platonically and romantically. Explore the nature of money and finance, for learning the language of money helps you to actually make it. Seriously, these are not skills that will be properly taught in school. In this, I feel one of the most valuable things you can do for yourself is learning how to prioritize your time. When I was in high school and college during this particular lifetime in the multiverse, after my homework was done, or sometimes instead of doing my homework, I would spend my time making cartoons. It was my passion and I enjoyed it so much that I didn't want to do anything else except sometimes playing video games. However, if there's only one thing you get from this letter, especially regarding school, please know that there is tremendous value in learning. So much so that I capitalized that sentence in the script. However, the school system makes learning so boring and unfun that most people grow up, graduate, and never want to learn again because they've associated learning with not fun times. This is the great disservice that school does to many youths today, making learning into a boring activity that stunts your growth in the future. If you can tap into that part of you that enjoys learning something and really get into it, either inside or outside of your school courses, it will help to reinvigorate your spirit and help you to accelerate in life regardless of the outcome of school. Today, I have a library of books on my nightstand where I am learning about astrophysics, ancient Egyptian spirituality, astrology, divine feminine consciousness, philosophies throughout the ages, and so much more. In only a few months, 
I will have entirely different books there as I continue to explore subjects that I am genuinely curious about, which ultimately helps me to become a more evolved version of myself. I want you to know that no matter what happens, it is so critical that you believe in yourself. Please know that you have the makings of greatness within you. Everyone does, and I believe in you with all of my heart. In this world, many people will tell you that you are not good enough, that you can't live your dreams, or are just all around trying to raid on your parade. But know this, that what someone says is more about them than it is about you, and what you hear and how you receive it is more about you. So if you can see through the illusions of the world, you can identify that they are truly just expressing how they feel about themselves and trying to put that on you. Don't let it stop you from being all that you can be. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, you can shine your light back to them to make a difference in their own lives and affect their perception of themselves in the process. And if you're ever having a moment where you can't believe in yourself, then just remember, believe in the me that believes in you because I believe in you. And I believe in the you that believes in yourself. And so, with this, I close this sacred letter and send it off into the ether with hopes and prayers that it will be received by exactly who is meant to see it, both within this timeline and across the multiverse. Thank you so much for taking in these words and heeding this advice. You won't regret it. I promise.